the kangaroos of Avondale. Avondale is a secluded island, and on that island is this rare species called kangaroos <laughs> <laughs> that only live on this island. And the king wants one of them. So he hires some pirates, like me, to go procure him some kangaroos from Avondale. <laughs> It's pretty simple if you think about it. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, thank you, Ashley. You're um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy Book Club. that the rest of the kingdom is really stepping it up, all right? <laughs> like, right up to the plate. Where is my salty soup and my sweet soup? I'm craving things! <laughs> and the king's high-pitched voice came echoing through the chambers. Is this the salty soup? All right, you're sure this is the salty? This is the sweet soup. Oh, I hope I don't mix them up. Oh, Jeremiah, <laughs> you forgot four years ago your right from your left. Why are you in charge of holding things? <laughs> because I am the king's right-hand man, I am. Chapter two. <laughs> in another part of town, <laughs> there was a young lad named Stuart. <laughs> Stuart was fresh out of grade school and looking for a job now that he was a real man. <laughs> Excuse me? No, we don't got anything for orphans here. How did you know I was going to ask that? <laughs> you look hungry. Go away. I, promise I can be a really good blacksmith. Uh, I, um, I, my parents were uh, were blacksmiths before they were murdered. I am uh, going to throw my latrine at you if you don't get away, boy. That's the third time this day someone thrown a latrine at me. And the latrine flew over oh. his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> he walked to another part of town. Maybe if blacksmithing wasn't his calling, he could cut flowers? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. 
Show me what you've got. Oh, cool. That, you call that flower cutting, do you? You got no grace. You got no skill. I'm sorry. I got a latrine with your name on it. Please, no. Please, let me just walk away, my dear. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, God. After Are you behavior. looking for a job? Why, yes. I know the economy on this island is really in the toilet, but I need to find a job doing something. Sure. Would you like to learn latrine throwing? <laughs> Even I have standards. Fair enough. <laughs> After the beggar and the barber and the blacksmith had all rejected him, the seamstress and the flower maker, basically everyone had thrown latrine. He hung his head in shame and went back to his grandmama's house. <laughs> <coughs> I bought a sickly kangaroo. <coughs> I don't long last for this kingdom. I must die soon. <coughs> On his way back, he was a peculiar creature. <coughs> if only the king had a good kangaroo, I'm sure whoever found it would bring favor. <coughs> oh, dear boy. Are you all right? Strange. <coughs> I am dying. I escaped from the kingdoms of the zoo, and I am dying. You can talk? Yes, of course, all kangaroos can talk. Whoa, kangaroos? I thought those weren't real. They sound just ludicrous. <laughs> My dear boy, you must know that kangaroos helped build this kingdom. Kangaroos are what fed this kingdom. Kangaroos are what made this kingdom. And now I am the last in this kingdom, and I shall be dead soon. Ugh. If only someone could get a new kangaroo for the king. <laughs> Do you need some water? I'm <laughs> <laughs> dying. Stuart was a very caring boy. It had always gotten him into trouble because the other boys were strong and burly, but he just liked to care for things. <laughs> My dear boy, you are but a sapling in a world of tall oaks. I must say, get another kangaroo for the king. I'm dying. And the kangaroo died. <laughs> <laughs> Stuart felt his heart break as he saw a creature perish in front of him and there was nothing he could do. He ran to the nearest door he could find, which happened to be the castle door. Who goes there? Uh, it is but I, a lad. I see that, but who are you? Uh, I, I'm just an orphan, I'm a nobody. What do you want with the king's palace? Uh, I, I found something that I think belongs to the king, because it told me it did before it died. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, sounds good enough, we'll let you in. <laughs> a giant drop of bridge clanged at his feet, and he took one hesitant step upon its mighty weight. The rain died out, and all went still as he approached the mighty castle walls. Uh, hello? His voice echoed in the big stone chamber. Oh, there's a boy, lad. Tell me, how good is your sweet from your salt? <laughs> uh, I mean, a, a pretty decent, I would say. Like uh, a, a six. Uh, uh, come here with your tongue mouth. Uh, okay, come here. I'm here. Tell me if this is the sweet one. Oh, no, that's not the sweet one. Okay. That was the salty one. It's the salty one. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry. Soups. Uh, no, no. Come taste. Okay. Come taste. Okay. Uh, Make sure that's his sweet boy. Oh, no, that one's even more salty. <gasps> Wait, let me try the first one again. What are you doing here, boy? I'm not trying to get free soup or anything. You threw soup in my face. <laughs> you come to this castle, uninvited, and you tell me my soups are salty. What brings you here? What business is this? Uh, I, I just, I, I, uh... Speak, boy! Uh, Jeremiah! Uh, Jeremiah, I've been waiting for my soup for 
ages it feels like. <sighs> the king had his grumpiest face on. We must bow, boy. Bow. I don't like to descend the staircase except on Tuesdays. Oh, yes. Yes, of course. Uh, uh, I shall... I, I shall rush these soups to you. Nay, I am here. It is a Wednesday. I shall have my soup right here. Indeed it is. Thou art the most wise king. First, give me the salty soup. Which one was the salty soup? They were both salty soups, remember? Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, mm. uh, okay. So that's good. I can give him one of these. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It was this dumb boy. <laughs> and that soup was sweet! <laughs> it was a lying dumb boy. A dumb boy who does not know his sweets and his salts. Are you saying that you did not know which soup was which, but you relied on yet a young lad? No, sir. I'm saying that it was a test for a noble subject to see the wit of the kingdom, sir. <laughs> and how did I fare in such a test? Well, how uh, did do his most noble duty in trying to educate uh, this dumb boy? But I fear that his skull is far too thick. Really? Indeed. I passed the test? You passed the test with flying colors. Oh, Jeremiah, I do appreciate your flair for the excitement and surprise. <laughs> now, this dumb boy had news for us, I believe. Uh, oh yes, uh, that's the reason I'm here. Well, I was in such a foul mood, and this one thing made me feel better. I hope it's only good news. Have some soup, sir. Is that the salty or the sweet? <laughs> it's the salty. Indeed it is salty. Indeed. Give us your salty news. Uh, yes, it is a news full of most salt. Uh, uh, on my way here, I, I wasn't coming here originally, but uh, uh, a creature uh, that could talk, a magic creature, a mammal, if you will. Ah, you speak of kangaroos, of course. <laughs> oh, indeed, all the kingdom knows. Kangaroos did build this kingdom. They fed it. They toiled for my it. My great-great-grandmother was a kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's impressive. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Well, the kangaroo I saw, uh, expired. <gasps> but before it died, it said that it was the last kangaroo, and that it needed to get another kangaroo here. What? Oh, uh, uh, just the messenger here. Uh, oh. Thou art a very dumb boy, and thou will replace the king's kangaroo. What? That's why me? You have clearly killed my kangaroo with your orphanness. <laughs> Does everyone know just by looking at me? <laughs> it shows. Oh. Uh, I, I, I swear that kangaroo was dying before you met it. Get it me told me so. Another kangaroo. Of course, you'll only be able to get one from Avondale. That's right. <laughs> Avondale is a long, treacherous journey across dark, billowing seas. Not Many who set sail for Avondale return with their lives. Stuart began to quake in his boots. It sounded like an awful, fearsome journey. How would he, one small boy just graduated from grade school, ever be able to find that island of Avondale? You know, Jeremiah, it occurs to me, something that might perk up my mood, would be if this impetuous boy had to go get my kangaroo while aboard a pirate ship. I shall hire a pirate ship, and they will take this boy, and, well, one way or another, I will get my kangaroo. <laughs> Chapter three. Down at the docks, the pirates were gathering round. These were commissioned pirates, so they were the <laughs> roughest and toughest of all of them. <laughs> ah, yeah, guys, uh, wanna fight for fun? <laughs> I, I'm always ready for a fight. I've got me knife in me head. I got me longsword. I've got me cutlass. 
I've got two muskets. I've got an apple. <laughs> uh, apple Joe. <laughs> <Joe. laughs> but you should see how he uses that apple. Uh, and I've... he showed them. And the, the apple danced in the air faster than their eyes could travel until they all had headaches. Oh, 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 I didn't like that one bit. If I would be surprised, you'd be a witch and not a pirate with all of that flip family flip flop. Uh, there's, no, there's no need for profanity. <laughs> it appeared some new fun was walking down the dock. A scrawny, timid-looking boy that looked just like the type of lad they would pick on for fun. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like an orphan be coming our way. That boy has no parents. He's as green as the grass did seem. Good pirates of the dock, I have a proposal for you. Good pirates? <laughs> What be oh. your proposal? Oh, what well, yours are you have? Um, the king sends me on a quest. Uh, he, if we return successful, we will be rewarded greatly. But if we die on the way, we probably just are dead. The pirates hated the king, but they did like rewards. What? There's no quest too fearsome for Captain Dogtooth. <laughs> are you Captain Dogtooth? Well, he's Dogtooth, but he's only captain if you say he is. But I say there's no quest fearsome enough for Captain Winky Eyes. <laughs> Why do they call you that? Ah, uh, my father's last name was Winky Eyes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, and there's no better captain than the she-captain, because I'm a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Debatable. <laughs> you can always try Captain Jugular, for I go right for it every time. my teeth. Or my knife. Apple Joe. <laughs> he be the most fearsome. The choice so, was clear. So tell us, boy. Who be your captain? <laughs> and for what shore do you set sail? <laughs> he knew. <laughs> he knew if they were to capture kangaroos, there was only one good trait for that. <laughs> You're all the captains. <laughs> <laughs> There's no such thing. No. No. <laughs> this is a very big mission. We're going to Avondale. Oh, 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 Avondale! Hey, hey. What? what? Don't say reason, his name! The only reason to, to go there would be to pick a fight with a bunch of kangaroos. Hey. Hey. Well, that's hey. what we're doing. <laughs> you know, they built this town. <laughs> they <laughs> fed <laughs> this town. They toiled and made it real nice. <laughs> the queen mother, she was a kangaroo. That's what I heard. How did that work? Aren't they more to the pouches and marsupials? So like a person was in a pouch? You, cr you crawl in. Oh, Out oh, pops oh. a baby and a kangaroo. <laughs> I, I said that I would sail anywhere, but I didn't know you were setting your eyes on Avondale. Dogtooth out! One by one, the pirates threw in their hat, metaphorically speaking, and walked off the dock. Sorry, lad. Don't misinterpret my wink to make it think like I'm coming back. I ain't the wink. <laughs> Until there was only one left. For though apples were his main weapon, Appletooth feared nothing. Apple Tom. Apple Joe. Apple Joe. <laughs> <laughs> he went by all names that had the word apple. <laughs> so, what do you say, Apple Joe? Am I the last lady at the ball? It appears so. I've got a ship, lots of apples, and a sense of adventure. What can you bring? Uh, I'm an orphan. And oh. I <laughs> <laughs> what would you say is your strength? 
guess I don't really have one. Of course you do. Everyone's got a strength. Well, like, you're not good at blacksmithing or flower cutting, apparently. <laughs> I'm good at getting latrines thrown at me. No, that's not a skill. That's not all. No. <laughs> it's well, terrible. Everyone threw a latrine at me today. Every, like, every person on this island's pee has been on me today. <laughs> We all have days like that. No, we don't all have days like that. <laughs> We're all, everyone pees on you? No! <laughs> well, I wager by the time the trip's done, you'll have found your special purpose. Hmm. So, is that a yes then? You're, You're the it. captain? I'm the captain. One of Apple Joe? Apple Joe. Chapter four. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Stuart had never been aboard a ship before, let alone a pirate ship. <laughs> As he walked up and down from the pole to the poop deck, <laughs> he gazed about, wondering, where was the rest of the crew? <laughs> <laughs> Not a good start, Apple Joe. Uh, Not a good start. <laughs> Not, a good start. <laughs> Not a good start, Stuart. We had a company meeting down below deck, and you were not there. So there, is it just you? No, there is a whole crew downstairs, and we had a meeting before the ship sailed, so you were not there. You're telling me you wouldn't just go downstairs and talk to yourself for 20 minutes? No, we have a crew. Well, then where are they? Who's manning things? Nothing's hoisted. We are yet to sail. When we sail, the crew will be here. Oh. Do not doubt me again. Pirates that Stuart had ever seen. <laughs> ah, is this the boy who wasn't at the meeting? Correct. Oh, <laughs> fine way to start off, mate. <laughs> oh. This one won't have perfect attendance. <laughs> oh. I'm not updating you on all the minutes either. Oh. No, I'm not. <laughs> and now I'm not telling you about casual Fridays. <laughs> no, talk on Tuesdays. You won't be invited. Nor Wednesday Wines Day. <laughs> Nor Throwback Thursdays, where we throw back someone at the back of the boat you and might tug them in the water. Thrown back. <laughs> or Fire Fridays, where we just set somebody on fire for fun. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, hey! I think I'm caught up. I think you guys got everything out in the meeting. Oh! <laughs> See what? There are two jobs that you can choose from. We need someone to sweep the poop deck or someone to be in the crow's nest. Which do you prefer? I'll choose crow's nest. Crow's oh. nest. Your eyes are the most important thing on the ship, you realize. Come with me to the edge of this boat. We'll be looking out, looking for sharks, looking for mer people, looking for monsters, and looking for land. Miss any of those things and we all die. Alright. Understood. It is understood. Great. Climb up to the crow's nest and get started. All Thank right. you, crew. And as he climbed, he looked around and saw that from complete uh, uh, anchor state, the boat had in minutes been transformed into ready to sail. These were no amateur pirates. Chapter 5. <laughs> In the captain's corridors, the captain sat eating apples nervously. He hadn't been on a dangerous voyage in a long time. He preferred to intimidate people from shore. This would be a big step if he could get his crew to the fateful Captain, Avondale I can't believe, Isle. I can't believe we we're setting sail for Avondale. Thank you, first mate. I'm well aware of where we're setting sail for, and I'm just as excited as you are, correct? Look, we have to go through the choppy waters of the Gibraltar Sea. Then we traverse through the octagon of octopus. <laughs> then, if that weren't enough, we go through the upside down storm region. <laughs> <laughs> the upside down storm region. Captain, I know I have the utmost faith in you, but this journey seems reckless. And to have anybody aboard that doesn't know what they're doing. 
Well, the only bad thing that could happen is if we had an orphan on board. They're bad luck. And we do not have an orphan, do we? I do not know, because like you, and like everybody else on this ship, we've suffered from orphan blindness. <laughs> an orphan on ship would be the only way we could fail for sure. For sure. An orphan on ship would be the death of us all. You're right, you're right. I should trust you. We do not have an orphan, therefore we shall survive these trials and tribulations on the map. So you have a plan for each of those three? Yes, I do. Of course I do. I, I always have a, a plan ready and yet... I don't, don't question me! Of course I've got plans. I know exactly what I'm doing. And I know that we'll be fine as long as there are no orphans on board. I wouldn't want there to be distrust among the crew. If, if there wasn't a plan, for why there could be the M word, Captain. The first mate, let, I have an idea. I have my plans, but let's test each crew member. And I think our newest crew member will do the last upside down storm. The other two will be taken by other crew members. We'll see who navigates the best through these perils. So your way to solve this problem is by testing to see if one of the crew members fails and wrecks our ship. <laughs> you have so little faith in me, first mate? Of course not, of course not. Way, will not. Apple Joe. Okay. Thank you much. The map will not roll itself back up. <laughs> And my chair will not stay in the middle of the room all by itself. Yeah, so, you know,